Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining our guest intake webinar today. I am Michael Ishizuka, the solution specialist here at Book for Time. Now, my main role here is to assist all of our clients with adding modules like guest intake to your accounts. A little bit of background about myself before we kind of jump into everything. Uh, before joining Book for Time, I was in spa operations. So I can relate to a lot of your day-to-day, -day, um, as well as I know how important it is to have a digital solution for your operations, how much easier it can make things um, for yourselves. Now, after the webinar, if you have any additional questions that are not answered, I'd be happy to set up some one-on-one -on -one time with you. Um, down at the bottom of your screen, there is a Q&A section. So please feel free to add some questions in there and I will uh, get to a couple after everything wraps up at the end. You know, today we'll be going over how guests and they can help create mean, meaningful conversations, enhance your guest experience, as well as, you know, increase your average uh, revenue per treatment. The guest intake form itself, it is very customizable. Uh, I'll, we'll go over some of those customizations during the demonstration, um, but just to briefly go over everything, the question types, you can have multiple choice, you can have some picture options, and yes and no answers, uh, yes and no questions as well. And our forms is what we call a smart form. And depending on the types of questions that you ask and the previous answers, it will carry over and carry forward to the next question. And, and you'll see how that'll come into play uh, during the demonstration here. Now, guest intake, the security and compliance, we are HIPAA compliant, which is great news for everyone because we know how important that is. Uh, everything is gonna be a digital and electronic signature, really beneficial for your guests, it's going to give them the comfort to fill out the forms, whether they're traveling, want to do it in the airport, the train, or in the comfort of their own home or hotel room. Whether they're using a cell phone, a tablet, a laptop, the screen will optimize and it will give them an option to answer the questions as well as digitally sign at the end. Last but not least, there is an area for therapist notes. So if you have specific questions that you want your therapist to answer, you can have questions set up to where they can go in and answer those questions as well. There's also a quick note section that can be added as well, and, and we'll see that later on in the demonstration here. Now, please bear with me during our webinar. I am going to be switching through multiple programs and multiple screens, um, so bear with me while I have to adjust the size for your viewing pleasure. So while we jump into everything, I'm just going to get rid of this little deck here, and I'm going to go into what is going to be the first screen is going to be the scheduler, which I'm sure you're all very familiar with. Okay, just give me a moment here. I'm just going to adjust this so you can see the scheduler a little bit better. So let's talk about how your guests are going to receive the guest intake forms. Now, there's going to be two ways that they can receive it. What we're going to go over today is going to be the email confirmation. There is an option to send your guests a text confirmation or an SMS conf uh, confirmation. That way, if they get it on their phones, they can go through the whole process there as well. On your screen, for your associates, the main thing that is going to change visually is going to be this little G icon that is going to be right there next to my name. It does update in real time, and it will indicate if the guest intake form is not complete or it is complete. When we are done filling out our form during this demonstration, I'll refresh the page and it will update in real time. Now, if you are currently capturing a guest email during booking confirmations, nothing is gonna change for your associates. Um, and again, if you do wanna send an SMS confirmation as well as an email, you have that option during the booking process uh, when you're booking in a service, all right? So we're going to jump to an email confirmation here. Just bear with me one second. Okay, so let's say your guest books online, they book over the phone, they book in person, they'll receive this confirmation email. Everything, of course, in your confirmation email can be customized. We're going to have the confirmation verbiage here, service date, time, subtotal, cost, and then some verbiage down here that specifies, you know, please complete your guest consultation form. Now, again, verbiage and what you want to have in your confirmation is completely up to you and your property. The form here, this can be a hyperlink or it can be a button that you see here. So the guest is going to open their email, pull up the confirmation, see that they need to complete the form, and they are going to select the complete form here. 
Now it's going to take them to a brand new landing page. I'm going to optimize my screen so you can view the full page here. Just bear with me here a second. Okay, I'm going to give it a second here to refresh. All right, so the first page we'll take them to is going to be the personal um, guest information. Now, this information here, this can be updated in real time. So whether or not your guest wants to change their email, change their contact number, or if there was a typo made in their name, they'd have the option to make these changes here, right? The guest is going to select continue. And this is going to kind of start where the form is going to take place. So again, customizable for your branding. You could have your logo here, the, the colors, the buttons here. This can be customized to match your branding as well. So it's really nice to keep everything all in line there. Any sort of information that you want listed, you know, whether it's your health form can be put in here. And the book for time privacy policy. This is an actual link. And if a guest wants to read over the privacy policy that book for time has, they'll be able to select that link there and it will take them to the actual book for time website and they will be able to view all of this great privacy policy that we have here. Okay, let's go back to the page. If the guest clicks, do not ex I do not accept, they will have this notification to please accept the terms and conditions in order to move forward. All right, so let's go ahead and accept and jump into the forms. Now, the first couple of questions that you're going to see are going to be more or less your, your basic questions. Some of the medical questions that, you know, every spa form, every treatment form will have on there. Now, all the questions are going to be completely customizable. You can have a simple one or two questions. You can have a long list of different questions that you would like. Um, so just keep that in mind when we're going through everything here. So the first set of questions is going to be a multiple choice. Does any of these following uh, apply to yourself? So the guests are going to be able to select as many, um, none of the above. Again, you can have you know, a wide variety of options for there. Uh, you can also have the other option. That way the guests can add any type of message, any type of condition that is not listed. Once the guest selects OK, it will prompt you to this next question here. Now, this question is really nice because it is going to essentially take the guests into the form and whether or not, depending on the question that they answer, will prompt the next question. Now, if a guest selects any option besides mail, it will prompt a question if the guest is expecting or not, which is really great. That way you can um, identify any sort of guests that are expecting. So are you currently pregnant? Yes or no? If you answer no, it will take you to a brand new question five. If you answer yes, this is going to ask one more question just to kind of get a little bit more information. Same as if this was an allergy question, it's going to prompt for additional information there to, to gather for your associates. So congratulations, how far along on you first, second, third trimester? If a guest selects first trimester and your property does not offer treatments to any guests in their first trimester, uh, whether it's a massage, uh, body treatment, but you do have those prenatal services such as facials, you know, manicures, everything like that. That is where this next portion will come into play. So let's say they select first trimester. Sorry, we are unable to perform massage services uh, within the first trimester. Please contact us at your spa's number. You can have your email, whatever you prefer. That way the guest knows, oh, you know, I can't receive this treatment, but I still can receive X, Y, and Z service during my stay at the resort. Once the guest clicks continue, it will take them back to this question here. So that way your guest isn't going to be inconvenienced. They don't have to fill out the rest of the form. They know that they're going to need to contact a spa in order to receive a different treatment. Now, let's say you have a guest that's in their second or third trimester. This is just going to prompt your providers to know how far along your guest is and whether or not they need to grab, you know, one, two, three, four different types of pregnancy pillows, um, how to angle the, the massage chair when they pick up their guests, giving them a level of anticipatory service and not having to leave the room to, again, grab a different type of massage pillow to make that guest comfortable. So let's say the guest is in the third trimester and 
this next question, please select the services that you will be receiving. Now, with guest intake, you can have multiple forms for each type of service, or you can have what we call our master form, um, which is really incredible because that way the guest is going to have to fill out multiple different forms. It's all going to be one seamless experience. So, for instance, if the guest is receiving uh, a package at your property and they have a massage and facial and nails, you know, they'll be at the spa all day and you need to capture answers for each of those types of services, this is where that is going to come into play here. So let's say this guest is going to receive a massage and a facial service. And if they're getting any of their treatments, they can select those as well. And it will prompt them, it will prompt your form to ask different types of questions once the service is complete and we'll go into that here all right so the first set of questions is your massage questions and you can have the setup in whatever type of order that you would like the picture here this picture is customizable so whatever type of picture that you want to incorporate with here you can have that now it is also an option if you do not want to have a picture you can just have some some text here it's always nice to you know add that add that picture in there it gives it some flair Once the guest selects continue, this is where you can go into gathering some additional information for your guests to provide them with an excellent experience and a memorable experience for their spa service and, and even their entire hotel stay. And we'll get into that once we get to that question there. So have you ever received a massage, uh, professional massage before? Yes, they have. This is not their first time. Now, what type of pressure do you prefer? This gives your providers the information that they need to not have to ask that question. You know, let's say this guest gets a massage every two weeks or even once a week, and they get that question, oh, what type of pressure would you like? This way, when your guest gets picked up, your provider can say, oh, Miss Smith, I see that you like a medium pressure. I'll give you that medium pressure, and then we can kind of go from there. You can let me know if you want it to be a little firmer or a little lighter. Again, a great segue into anticipatory service. Please select any areas that you would like us to focus on. This guest just got off a 10 hour flight. Their back is really killing them. They can specify again to the provider. That way the provider already knows they don't have to go over any other types of questions. They can give that anticipatory service. And there's also the other option here as well that they can add. So we'll select okay. It's gonna take us to the next question here any areas that the guest would like to avoid. Now, let's say your guest is coming in for a massage and right after the massage, they're getting ready and they're, they're going out to dinner, they're gonna hit the town and they don't want any type of head massage because so they don't want their hair messed up. They don't want any oil in the hair. So they can select head down here. They could say, you know, please no oil in my hair. That way your providers know, stay away from the scalp massage. We're gonna go ahead and select okay from here. And that is gonna take them into the facial questions and the facial form. Again, nice lovely picture here. You'll select continue. And whatever type of questions that you need to incorporate for your facial treatments can be listed here as well. Any type of skin concerns, of course, they're coming in for a facial. I live in Las Vegas. It is very dry here, so my skin is a little dry. And of course, who isn't worried about aging? I could use a little TLC around the crow's feet here. And we will click OK and go from there. Now, adding additional revenue to your treatments. Now, this is really great because it is going to give your associates an insight of the to this guest, whether or not this guest is thinking about adding on some services, this will either prompt your spa concierge when the guest is checking in to, you know, talk with the guest, have some open-ended questions. Oh, I see that you might be interested in, you know, our hot stone add-on or our eye enhancement. You know, is that something that you, that you would like to experience today? And right off the bat, right there, oh yeah, you know, I'm not, you know, I selected hot stones, I selected the eye enhancement, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna go with the eye enhancement today. Great, upsell right there, additional revenue onto that facial. Now, if it's not something that you want your spa concierge to do, and it's something you more want your providers uh, to bring up during a treatment, that can be something that they could talk to the guests about as well. 
And being in operations myself, I know that there are some providers that don't like to quote unquote sell those type of add-ons. They don't like to feel like they're selling anything. Well, this is nice because it's an open-ended question. The guests already mentioned that they might be interested in the foot scrub, the gel polish upgrade. So that way it's a nice, easy way to bring it up to the guests and not feel so um, sales orientated. All right, we're gonna go ahead and click okay here. Now, are you celebrating any special events during your stay? This is a really great question because it is going to be, you will be able to create kind of a wow moment, you know, an experience for the guests, not only at your spa, but through the entire hotel. You know, let's say that, you know, they booked their hotel, they didn't add that they were celebrating an anniversary, a birthday or anything like that. But when they're filling out their spa form, they said, oh, you know, me and my other half, or, you know, I'm actually coming in for my birthday. It's a birthday present, a weekend, anything like that. And the guest selects it here. Your providers can then take this information, write a happy birthday card, give a complimentary foot scrub, hot stone add-on, you know, things that don't cost the property or the spa a lot of um, revenue, but it can create an experience for your guests and it could win them over to be a lifelong um champion for for your brand for your property for your spa you know they will remember these special types of moments now if you are in a more of a resort environment and your spa and your front desk and your food and beverage team work very closely together this is that opportunity to create your, the resort experience for your guest your spa concierge your management team could say oh let i see that they have a reservation at xyz restaurant let me call their f and b manager and say hey miss smith's coming in a little bit later today she's celebrating her birthday like can we get her a complimentary uh, dessert or you know something along those lines again creating that memorable experience for that guest All right, last but not least, we have all of the legal information that you want your guests to go over before digitally signing the forms. So again, it could be a very long, um, some, a very long legal information here that the guests would have to read and to go over. It could be really short, completely up to yourselves or your legal team, whatever you wanna have added in here before the guest accepts. If the guest selects, I do not accept, they will get that same message at the beginning. Please agree to the terms and conditions. All right, so let's go ahead and go to I accept so we can see the digital experience for signing. Excuse me one moment. Now, with the digital signature here, again, completely mobile friendly. If you're using your phone, uh, if the guest is using their phone, they'd be able to sign with their fingertip, or if they're using a tablet, fingertip, or the little pens that they have. Um, I am currently on a laptop, and I am just signing with the trackpad here. Once the guest is done signing, it is going to show a nice little message, again, completely customizable as far as the verbiage goes, that you want your guest to receive after filling out that form there you know this could be where you would say please arrive 30 minutes early to your treatment to get checked in and enjoy the facilities you know anything that you want to come up with now once the guest clicks done you can have your form take them to the properties website a food and beverage link your you know your spa website however you want it set up currently we have ours set up to where it's going to take the guest to our spa executive website um, for an example, you can have it linked to whatever type of site that, that you want for your branding. Okay. Now, I'm going to jump back into the scheduler here. That way we can go over the icon that is going to be updated, as well as the first way that your associates will be able to view the answers to the questions that those guests filled out. All right, so we're going to be back to the scheduler. I'm going to refresh so we can see that that form has been completed in real time and, and updated. So let me go ahead and scroll down here. We have Mr. Michael Ishizuka, and this is indicating that that guest intake form is complete. I really love this feature uh, because it's going to 
be a tool for your associates if you do confirmation calls, let's say 24 or 48 hours prior to your guests arriving to the spa. It is one last thing that your associates will have to go over with the guest or one extra thing that your associates will have to touch base with for the guest, you know, saying, oh, you know, Mr. Ishizuka, I see that you have filled out your form. Thank you for taking the time to complete that before arriving or the exact opposite. Mr. Ishizuka, if you can just take a moment before you arrive to the spa, you can fill out that consultation form. That way, when you check in, you will have a nice, smooth transition. You won't have to fill out anything here in person. Okay. So how to view the questions, or I apologize, how to view the answers. Your associates will be able to first go onto the scheduler, select the, their guest's name, and is going to pull up the customer information here. Top right hand corner is going to be the guest intake form where they, where they will be able to view the information that was just provided. They'll select guest intake form here. And this is going to populate every guest intake form that the guests were to fill out from the very first visit up into their most current and anything in the future. So it is November 1st. Let's go ahead and view that form here. Just move this over. All right, so guest consultation form. It'll show the date that the guest completed it and the form number here at the top. A little bit below, you will see the guest name, appointment date, appointment time, appointment confirmation number, and then the type of services that they will be receiving as well. And then all of the questions that the guests were to see are gonna be here on the left. All of the answers to those questions will be here on the right-hand side. And this will give your providers all the information that is needed to perform those services. Okay. The guest is expecting they're in their third trimester. They're receiving a massage and a facial service. So this is really great because let's say they're getting their massage first, as in, in most cases, it usually is a massage first. After your provider is finished with that massage, they'll know that they could either talk to the, the esthetician and whether or not they want the esthetician to um, you know, stand outside of the massage room. That way they can transition from the massage room straight into the esthetician's room. Uh, instead of taking the guests all the way back to the relaxation lounge, then the esthetician comes and picks them up. This creates a lot better experience for your guests or whether or not your estheticians can go straight into the massage rooms and perform uh, the facial inside of that same room. A little bit below here is just gonna be all the answers to those questions, areas to focus on, areas to avoid, and of course, any sort of answers that you want your providers uh, to read over. And the guest signature is gonna be there. All right, so the second way to view the forms is going to be on the guest intake website. Now just bear with me one second, I just need to pull that up. I did not have that, I did not have that pulled up. Just bear with me here. Okay, I had to adjust the sizes just a second, so I'm gonna let that refresh. Okay, so if and when your property moves forward with guest intake, you will have a guest intake website. This is specific for your property and your account. You will have access to this website, no other properties, and you can have access to as many of your associates that you want to have access to this website, or you can have as little. If you just want you know, your legal team, your management team to have access here, you can have that set up as well. It's all within the admin and security settings. And I'll touch base quickly as well. The same security settings can be done on the scheduler. So it is gonna be uh, very HIPAA compliant on who you want to be able to view those, those forms. Okay, so guest intake website here, you will have a login. You'll go ahead and log in here. Once you once the admin is all logged in and set up, they would be able to go in and set up the associates as well. Nice and easy. Um, and I can kind of show you that as well. The guest, uh, guest intake logins are not on concurrent users. So there's no additional cost to have your entire staff or one or two or three people um, have access to this. All right. So the guest intake dashboard, you will have your completed tab. You will also have your pending tab that is listed here, but let's go ahead and view the completed form. 
all of the completed forms, whether it is for the day of the service, today's November 1st, or if there are forms that were completed for November 10th, you'd be able to view those here as well. We will find that service and that treatment that was just filled out. So Mr. Ishizuka, we are going to view that form. So there's going to be the same setup here as well as far as the questions on the left, the answers on the right, and all that form information and appointment information is going to be up here at the top. There is going to be this note section. This is going to be a quick note. Get uh, Your providers, your management team can add any type of note here. And it will be saved. Anyone can go back onto that specific appointment and be able to view that note. These notes can be edited. There is a second style of note that you can have set up as well. So if you want your providers to fill out a specific form, answer one, two, three specific questions for every service, there could be that option set up here as well. And what it would do is your providers, once they log in, they select a service, they go to this form, there would be another link. Your providers would select that link and it is essentially going to take them to their own intake form. It will have, you know, again, one, two, three, four, five different types of questions to answer about that specific guest and that specific service, whether it's uh, something that, you know, the guest wants during their next service or what the provider recommends for their next treatment. You can have those specific questions set up. Those will not be you cannot modify those. So there's always that option as well. Down below, after everything has gone over and accepted, there is the therapist signature. Now, this is really great because it holds your providers accountable for reading over this information and signing off on it. Whether or not the guest had a nut allergy and the provider accidentally used the nut allergy, um, this is going to be able to hold providers accountable or anyone accountable for any type of reason just to say, hey, you signed off on this. Um, you know, could you please provide any, any additional information? So providers will be able to sign here. Done signing. So that provider went over everything and is fully up to date on that guest's needs, wants, allergies, et cetera. There is an option to print this out. Now, if you need to provide your guests an intake form prior to a right, uh, departure, this is where your uh, spa concierge can go through this intake form, print those forms, do a little trifold, put an envelope with the guest name on it. And then once that guest check out, it could be provided right there during the checkout process. Okay, so let's go back to the dashboard here. So let's talk about the pending tab. So let's say, you know, in, in a perfect world, we want all of our guests to fill these forms out, you know, prior to arriving to the spa. But let's face it, not all of them do. Um, in my experience, I would say a large number and a majority of them do, but there's always a specific cases. And you have the pending forms. You'd be able to see the pending forms that were here. That way, if you need to provide your guests with a form to fill out, here's how you would do it. There's, there's two different options. So let's say your spa concierge have access to an iPad or a tablet. They would be able to then present the forms to the guests right there at the check-in, whether or not you want the guests to fill it out in their spa reception area, or if you want them to have the option to take the tablet into the relaxation lounge in, in, the, in the spas. They could do that as well, fill it out in the locker room, however you want to uh, practice that. So the pending tab would come into play and kind of the steps uh, are as follows. Uh, Mr. Johnson, you know, this is going to be your, your spa concierge. Uh, Mr. Johnson, we say you haven't filled out your consultation form. Let me provide you with our tablet. That way you can fill out the form uh, prior to beginning your service. Your spa concierge logs into guest intakes, goes to the pending tabs, finds Mr. Johnson, selects launch. Once they select launch on that iPad or tap Android tablet, it doesn't matter which one it is, as long as it has Wi-Fi access. They're gonna select that launch button there. And it is gonna prompt that guest to fill out the form right on the iPad or tablet. The guest will be able to go in, make any adjustments and continue with the form. 
Now let me go ahead and go back to guest intake here. All right, so the pending tab, another scenario that this would come into play. So let's say you had a large party um, that was checking in. You only have two tablets at the at the front, but you have four guests that are checking in. Um, you know, everyone's coming in to celebrate their birthday. No one filled out their forms. You'd be able to provide two of those guests with a tablet. That way two guests can start filling out the tablet form. And then let's face it, everyone carries their phones with them everywhere, even at the spa. So that's where this link here would come into play. Your associates can log in here, go to the pending tab, select this link. All they have to do is click on that. It is gonna copy the link. Now that is a link to the guest intake form. You would be able to go back to your scheduler, select that specific guest. You'd be able to right click. Oh, let me go ahead and refresh. Right, you'd be able to go to that service. You right click, and then you have these options here. Send SMS. As long as that guest has the same country code, cell phone number as your region, you'd be able to select send SMS. Go to the message, message here, and you'd be able to paste it. And this information here will be sent directly to that guest cell phone almost instantly here. All right, and a message has been sent. You and that is my actual number. And I don't know if you can see, it might not work because of the filter, but the guests intake form is a link on my cell phone. I can then select that link and I can start filling out that form on my own device. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to the guest intake form here. Uh, I'm sorry, the guest intake dashboard. A great thing about the dashboard is you could search a cl by client name or confirmation number. You will not have to go through and go through those banker boxes, look at those paper forms to try to match a guest name and a signature. I know if you are currently using forms, I understand your struggle. I used to be in the same place uh, way back when, when I was in operations, when you have to find that one needle in a haystack, it could take hours. So this is really nice because you can just search a guest name here. And this is gonna pull up their profile. You'd be able to view their forms, all their information. And then you can go back and view a form back from December. You know, and it's gonna go back to, this is December of 2020. For any reason, if your legal team needs this form, um, you know, this, sometimes those things happen. You'd be able to print this out for your legal team or, you know, your legal team could have access to this thing, to any of that guest information if needed there. Okay. And other than that, that is going to be kind of everything for guest intake. Uh, one question that I get a lot is the frequency. What is the frequency of the forms? You know, do those guests have to fill out a form every time they get a, a treatment? How does that work? So your guest intake forms are set up per service group. So it's however you want. If you want your guests to fill out a form every single visit to your spa, let's say they're staying at your resort for a week or you uh, have a big local clientele and they come every two weeks or once a month, you can have it set up to where your massage form gets sent out every single visit, every single service. Or if you want it to be every 10 days, every quarter, once a year, um, that is going to be completely up to you as well. Really fast, I can go ahead and show you uh, the admin section here and the users, how to add a user. Very simple. You'd add a user, you'd add your associate's name, the email that you'd want them to sign in with, the password, confirmation number. If your associate were to move to a different department or leave your company, you would, oh, the role here, you could select the role. But there's the status. So if they were to leave your outlet, leave your property, leave your company, you'd be able to disable their account here. And as you can see, enabled or disabled. OK, all right. Well, that is going to kind of round everything off uh, for guest intake, the guest intake forms itself, how the guest receives it, how to use the guest intake website. 
And other than that, um, I wish you all uh, a lovely day. Thank you for joining.